Welcome back to another RoboCNC video. I'm Marcel. We're going to start working on the bottom frame this time. And to be precise, we're going to start working on the cross members. So the ones I now uh, mark in blue. Um, that's where we're going to start with. As a fastening system for the cross members, I'm going to use the automatic fastening set type 8, 80 millimeters long, which is uh, this article number. When using the automatic fastening set, you first uh, drop in the, the bolts because they do not fit uh, through this slot. So drop in the holes first before you thread in the, uh, the other pieces. I made a terrible stupid mistake because this is a left-handed thread so I should have turned to the left and thread them in. So stop watching please. <laughs> Basically by turning it to the right I drilled a hole instead of threading it in. It's uh, well, can't do anything about it. I hope you guys don't make the same mistake because I make this video. With the automatic fastness in place you can uh, put the hexagon socket head cap screws or the bolts through the hole and mount the 18mm sliding nut. Now let's start uh, working on the legs of this uh, bottom frame. The profile holes are threaded uh, by the factory, so I can uh, mount the base plates on the, on the bottom, which is uh, used for mounting the feet later on. Well, the profile used here is the 8080 light version. Um, this is 5.3 kilograms a meter instead of 7.2 kilograms a meter which I used for the top side of the frame. So it's about 25% uh, lighter which is great for the bottom frame. The top frame is about 75 kilograms and the complete frame, so the bottom and the top, is about 120 kilograms of aluminum and bolts together. As for the feet, I'm going to use these knuckle feet uh, D80, which is 80 millimeter diameter feet. I'm going to use six of them, um, and they uh, well, they have a knuckle, so for an imperfect floor, and we can adjust them in height to level the machine. It's an M16 thread, so it's plenty of uh, plenty sturdy. I'm going to use these rubber inserts. Um, I really was in doubt which one to use because you also have uh, anti-vibration feet uh, to prevent noise from uh, from getting into the floor. But, well, I thought let's first try the, the, the rubber ones because I don't want the machine to, uh, to walk away from me when machining. The M16 thread can be threaded into the base plate. And, uh, so the machine is basically standing on uh, six M16 threads, which would be fine, I think, I guess. To 
time to uh, start assembling the, the legs and the cross members. As you can see the automatic fastening set um, is great because you can just slide them into the slot of the legs. So we can always uh, bring them higher if I want to or lower I can slide them. And this uh, 40 by 80 millimeter profile is uh, used in the upright position which is more sturdy uh, than laying it down so therefore this fastening system is just an ideal situation. So even with my stupid mistake of the left-handed thread, it's still uh, holding up uh, quite fine. drawing will of course uh, again will be provided for free check out uh, the description box below this video so I made the, the long sets with the three legs and uh, the two cross members and now it's time to uh, cap the automatic fastening system which is just uh, for aesthetic uh, purposes Looking nice. As you can see, I use some uh, L brackets to support um, the cross members even more, and that's just because I made the stupid mistake of the left-handed thread, as I told before. Um, so you do not need this if you uh, don't make the same stupid mistake. Really. Well, it's starting to look like a frame now and again you can see this is a really easy way of uh, putting the cross members in just you slide them down and tighten them To assemble the bottom and the top frame together we're using this universal fastening set 8 which is again a great fastener although you do need to do some work on the profiles and uh, well I let item do this work uh, for me so as you can see in the standing profile down down here in the bottom frame you see these holes that are drilled and that's for the universal fastening set and just slide in and you fasten the bolt and it's also very easy to uh, detach the bottom and the top frame now so as you can see, I still have to move this router to, uh, to the workshop later on.
So guys, this is it for this video. The framing is uh, done. Um, in the next video we're going to start uh, assembling the y-axis. So the, the bridge on top of the frame. And uh, hope you liked the video. If so, click the thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, do so. And thanks for watching.